Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Ting Jilei and Bibi Sara Asaubayeva. This is a game from World Team Chess Championship Women's Section 2019. Ting Jilei had white pieces and she started with d4. Bibi Sara Asaubayeva played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, Bishop to g7, e4, d6, king's Indian defense. Knight to f3, Asubayeva castled king's side. White to move. Bishop to e2 is the most played move. Ting g lay played h3, controlling g4 square, and in some variations intending g4. Black to move. e5. If something like h6, White may play bishop to e3. So we have e5. Since white in the castle, this move makes lots of sense. But now d5, keeping the game closed. a5, intending knight to a6, and then knight to c5. g4, going sharp. Knight to a6, bishop to e3. Knight to d7. a3, knight from a to c5. Rook to g1, a4, knight to d2, c6, naturally black wants to open the game, queen to c2, queen to a5, and Ting g lay castled, queen side, knight to f6, bishop to e2, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, bishop to d7, g5, attacking the knight, is this. A good move. Did Ting Ji Lei miss something? The pawn was controlling the f5 square. Black to move. Perhaps knight to e8 was expected. Vibisara Asubayeva played bishop to f5. Attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Are you ready to see the move? I will show you the move in a slow motion. Kaboom! Sending her opponent in shock. After thinking long and hard, Bibisara played knight to e4. Let's take it back. If g takes on h5, one line goes like this. g takes on f6, queen to d8, bishop to g5, h6, bishop to h4, king to h7, rook takes on g7, check, king to h8, rook from d to g1, white has three pieces for a queen in the winning position. Back to our game. To avoid this variation, Bibi Sara played knight from f to e4, threatening to take on c3. How to defend the knight on c3? What would you do? Please pause again and find the best move for white. What did you find? There was another shock. Ting Ji Lei played queen takes knight on e4. What a move, what a game. Knight takes on e4. Knight on d takes on e4. White has three pieces for a queen, but black can't make any progress. The game continued. Rook from f to d8, knight to b5, more pressure on the pawn on d6. Bishop to f8 defending, h4. Rook from a to c8, king to b1. Bishop to e7, h5. King to g7, rook from d to f1. Rook to d7. Ting G Lei played the obvious. What is the obvious? Maybe bishop to g4 is not a bad move. f4. White has a space advantage, better activity of the pieces, and an attack on the king side going. And black. Black seems to be a bit squashed, and black queen is just a spectator. Queen to a6. f5. g takes on f5. Rook takes on f5, bishop to d8, h6 check, king to h8, rook on g to f1, king to g8, 
Bishop to h5. Tsunami like pressure from Ting Jilei. f6. Knight takes on f6, check. Bishop takes on f6. Rook takes on f6. Rook from d to d8. White played a move and black resigned. Bishop to g4. Black resigned. Why? Well, to avoid checkmate. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Let's say black wants to save the rook. Then g6. h takes on g6. Bishop to g5. Black has no good moves. King to h8. Rook to f7. Rook to g8. Bishop to f6. Rook to g7. Bishop takes on g7. Check. King to g8. Bishop to e6. King to h7. Bishop to f6. Discover check. King takes on h6. And then white plays the obvious. And the obvious is rook to h1. Check. Mate. What a brilliant game. By Ting JLA. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.